And welcome to another California Guy video with your boy California Guy. What's up everybody and welcome to this video. And this video is entitled Why Roland Attacked Omar. And this is a another, it's kind of a two part video from the other video that I did on Omar and Roland Martin. And this other thing I'm going to make a comment on is Big JX real quick. Uh, Big JX. Now, I'm going to start this video off talking about Big J. One of the problems, Big J, with you and some other black sector YouTubers, because I can see you guys, black sector YouTubers, is you black sector YouTubers take everything literal. You guys, every time somebody makes a statement regarding pro blacks or blacks in general, black people in general, you take it literally. And it's annoying because we, by people like myself, have to break down every point that you guys say. Now, in my comment section, you make a comment about Umar being the god of black people, about feminists uh, pushing their narrative. And when I talk about the feminists with Umar, I'm not talking about regular criticisms. Now, I thought that you, some of you intellectuals would know that, but instead you took one little statement that I've made, like many of you have done, and you try to twist those words. Uh, Manhead has done that many times. He takes certain statements that I may make or little mistakes, little flubs, and he runs with it like it's the whole idea. But I'm, and, and Emma just says to the artist, what I mean by feminism is that Omar has had beefs with white feminists and gay uh, individuals. And so they've tried to push a narrative on Dr. Umar that, you know, Umar doesn't like. But because the money and the power in white supremacy is behind these individuals, that they are able to manipulate segments of the black community. That's basically what I was saying about the feminist angle. Whereas Big J took it to like, well, I'm not manipulated. Well, Big J, if you're not manipulated, you don't need to make a comment on that particular issue. You don't have to even address that issue if you feel that you're doing that because nobody was talking about your videos. In fact, I was not aware of you even having criticism of Dr. Umar. But let me move along to the real meat. Now, I watched the whole Dr. Umar uh, vid uh, video, Dr. Umar versus, um, what's his name, Roland Martin. I watched the panel. I got a chance because the video I did uh, yesterday, I didn't watch the whole uh, video. I, I seen parts of it. I seen L dots video, so I seen bits and pieces. But I watched a lot of it, and the stuff that Roland was saying was very shocking. You know, he mentions uh, people like Doctor. Uh, I mean, he mentions people like uh, oh, what's his name, City Putty Air. He used these trite examples to try to discredit Umar, and I know what this is about. It's about the Breakfast Club interview that Umar did. It got a lot of traction. And um, basically, Boyce feels that he has to... Not Boyce, I'm sorry. Uh, Roland Martin has to contradict what Umar is saying by taking stuff from YouTubers, trolls, and trying to apply it to his, uh, his argument against um, Umar Johnson. Now... Umar broke a lot of stuff down. I've been a follower of Umar for years. And I've criticized some things of Umar. Which I don't agree with about black nationalism. But black, Dr. Umar still promotes black unity. And basically. The arguments that Roland Martin was laying down. Was he's against black unity. That he's against black men and black women being married. He's against uh, Dr. Umar criticizing certain people. And because he. Or criticizing Barack Obama. Of uh, that's basically what Roland Martin was saying. That basically, you know, and black women should not like what Roland was saying. Also, because he's basically saying that you know, because these guys have done fantastic stuff, that you shouldn't hold against them that they have a non-black wife. Basically, so that's basically what um, Roland Martin was telling you in his videos. Because Roland Martin is bought and paid for by white special interest groups, uh, just like. Um, Steve Harvey at one point and Tavis Smiley, all these guys get caught up in being bought and paid for by all these different groups. And so these different groups control them, you know, because again, Roland Martin had ties to the Clintons, ties to Obama. So he doesn't have ties to black people, of course, as you can see, but he has ties to all these groups and he wants to tell us how we should 
uh, look at brothers like Dr. Omar or Tariq Nasheed. Uh, he has a problem with these brothers because it's a new era coming for black men, a new golden age. And he sees this new age is coming. So now he's trying to uh, discredit these guys because they could work outside of the boule and of outside of the um, uh, dominant society power structure. So that's why uh, these people are starting to take notice and they hate these guys. They hate people like Dr. Umar. They hate people like Tariq. They hate people like Black Authority. They hate people like uh, the conscious community. They hate people like uh, myself even. They, I'm low level, but they hate people like myself. They hate people like uh, Doc, Voltron, New Possibilities. So it goes down the ladder. That's why you have all these different blacks attacking these pro-blacks, even in YouTube. You know, you have them because they're, they're part of that boule mentality. So they attack and call all the pro-blacks frauds because that's basically what Roland Martin was trying to do. He was trying to call these brothers uh, frauds. You know, he tried to say his brothers are fraud, like they've said online. And the argument is pro blacks are frauds. They're just out to steal your money and put it in their pockets like ministers. So that's basically the argument that Roland <coughs> is saying about him. And he tried to discredit his college credentials. He put it out there on purpose. Then he had his guest, his henchman, of uh, his cone henchman to go after him also because this is the narrative that the liberals have white liberals have in the coons and and white supremacists is to take down the pro black so we all got to be the super friends and we need to take these brothers and sisters down with strong voices so that's why uh umar was attacked and it's all due to really Tariq the sheet now i know people will say well what are you talking about kelly guy because of Tariq the sheet Building his name up. Tariq Nasheed is successful. Tariq Nasheed has made movies that sold all over the world. Whether you guys love or hate Tariq Nasheed, he's starting to make some noise. Roland has become irrelevant and he's not a threat. So whenever you have, whenever you become a threat, you get attacked, death threats, and all that because you're taken serious, just like Dr. Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. And so these guys see the rise of Tariq and Umar has association with him and Dr. Boyce. So guess what? Umar has to go. So we're going to start with Umar. And trust me, they're making their rounds to Tariq. They just know that Tariq is going to be a much more difficult foe that they ever will mess with. So these boule blacks are mad because their positions are in trouble. Um, when they did the no voting thing last year, I do think it has some sort of effect on the election last year. And so with that effect, uh, Roland and other ones seen that, you know, they told the dominant society that, okay, you know, usually African Americans vote for Democrats and that's a voting block that you got. That voting block is now, I believe, I believe it's broken. I believe the voting block is broken. And so now you have to attack certain individuals. Uh, because alternative media has now become par uh, powerful. And I could break this down to a couple of examples. Look at Alex Jones, for example. And I know this has nothing to do with the black part, but just bear with me. Alex Jones has a strong voice on his radio show. He's a strong voice on social media and alternative news. Uh, a lot of people look to Alex Jones. So guess what? Alex Jones was very, very strong in the election of 2016. He basically helped Donald Trump to win indirectly. You know, his shows became high rated donald trump was quoting things from uh he was quoting things from um sorry my phone is going out but he was quoting things from um oh what's his name alex jones so trump was quoting a lot of stuff and policies through his show it was pipeline from uh alex jones show to donald trump's show and so and it's still like that today and i think like jerome corsi one of Alex Jones' people is in the press court. So it's the same thing with Tariq Nasheed. Tariq Nasheed is now, like, you know, he's he's basically dominating the, the black social media and alternative news. Alternative news. So with alternative news, people are looking to other people outside of the mainstream dominant society, people who was bought and paid for by white supremacists on both sides. And Tariq and Umar Boyce and other ones are offering a direct contrast to what black people hear. And a lot of black people are following it. So that's why uh, Roland and his crew is attacking them now. Because Hillary Clinton, Al Gore, and them need the black vote. Because when they take on Donald Trump again in the next couple of years, they want to reassure that that voting block is there. And 
that was the reason why Roland went on this tirade against Umar because he needs to discredit because he had no problem with Umar before. So it's only a problem now because of the no voting issue. So the Coons and different blacks are going to come after these brothers, but Umar held his own against him. And again, all this fake pro-black stuff that you be hearing and all these pro-blacks at cons, these are from jealous black people who can't even, that will not take any steps to better their community. That's why you hear the fake pro-blacks, these are hustlers, these are jivers, or, you know, this person is that way. That's why a lot of different African Americans get attacked based on that from each other. So, like and share this video, people. This video went longer than I thought. Peace out.